when you're dealing with the prostate, uh, one is I want to decalcify it personally. I want to deal with the infections that may be in it. Uh, and then the, the swelling, but then also there's something else that happens to men. And that is as we age, uh, our levels of aromatase and 5-alpha reductase go up and we start turning estrogen into DHT, which is hair loss, and uh, estrogen. <clears throat> we actually become feminized. So if it weren't enough that we have a feminizing culture and that we have um, gender bending chemicals, xenoestrogens in the food and water supply, by the time a man is 50, he's often making more estrogen than testosterone. Uh, this is why you see men uh, have lost a lot of, a lot of men will have lost their drive, their initiative, their spark uh, at, at that point because they're more feminine than masculine. Yeah, the andropause symptoms of the uh Easy to anger, but hard to motivate. Yeah, and the fat around the belly and the loss of muscle tone and the, all the things that happen. So uh, that was designed with the intent of uh, help, uh, supporting the body in having a healthier prostate, but also uh, changing the, uh, getting back to the healthy testosterone estrogen ratio. And I remember the first time I took it, um, I was with my kids and we were going on a hike and boy, they just couldn't keep up with me. I was running up and down hills. It just felt, it felt great. Fantastic. So what does endosterol do for a woman? Well, that's interesting you'd ask. <clears throat> um, what's not often recognized is a lot of the plants, a lot of the herbs that are helpful for the male reproductive system are great for the female reproductive system. It, it brings blood to the same area. I've heard from some clients that they had easier time with menstruation and that they've had an easier, what shall I call it, more motivation toward uh, libido, I don't know, just more interested in intimacy. Because it's bringing blood back into that area and normalizing hormones, yeah. Right, that. 